Just about to head down to Bunbury Fuel Injection. We're gonna get the Prato onto the dyno. Uh, I've just installed a three bar map sensor and I've just wound the boost up to 18 PSI. So I'm gonna get the boys to check out how it's all going um, and give it a proper tune via the chip. So we'll keep you posted on dyno numbers, how we're looking for power and torque. And yeah, let's see how we go. So due to insurance reasons, I wasn't able to be a part of the dyno process, but I'll give you a quick rundown on what I've done to the old girl and give you a look at the results from the dyno. Okay, so in preparation for winding the boost up to 18, I've gone through the cooling system. I've put a new radiator in, new radiator cap. I've installed a brand new water pump, put brand new injectors in and brand new glow plugs. And obviously we've put the three bar map sensor in. I'll run through how to wire one of those up in a second. Uh, I've also put a thermo fan on the intercooler that comes on with the ignition. Uh, so that just gets rid of a bit of heat sink when you're at low speed. Uh, I've also got a Roo Systems chip installed, which is up under here. So in the comments down below, I'll leave a link for you guys for the three bar map sensor that I've used. Okay guys, so I'm just going to run through how to hook up the three bar map sensor. So first of all, you've got to cut the factory wiring that goes to the factory sensor and bolt up your new three bar map sensor. Uh, when wiring this up, just disregard these wire colours on the new map sensor because uh, we've found that they do vary over different sensors. So what I'll do is I'll work from the front of the vehicle and I'll tell you which wire goes to which factory Toyota wire. All right, so the first wire in line, that goes down here to the black wire. And the second wire in line, the blue one, the middle one, that hooks onto the black with the yellow stripe wire and then the third wire in line that goes down to the brown wire. So the factory map sensor that's uh, hooked onto your intercooler with two bolts. The three bar map sensor is a bit longer so what I've done is I've just hooked it onto one bolt. Uh, that way you can retain your filter holder. Okay guys, got the results of the dyno here, so I'll just uh, run through them with you. Okay, so the guy that performed the test, he was uh, pretty impressed with the results. Uh, we're pretty much sitting at what a standard 3 litre D4D would make. Uh, so that's not too bad for an old 4-banger. Alright, so horsepower at the wheels. Uh, we're making 113.1 and that's with the, the bigger tyres, the 265, 75, 16s. And the torque that we're making is 308.6 Newton metres at 2500 RPM. So I'm pretty impressed with the uh, power increase and the gains that you can make by adding a three bar map sensor. So with the chip, uh, I've got it set on number five out of 10 settings at the moment. Uh, the guys at the dyno didn't recommend going any higher than that uh, as the EGTs were creeping up a bit too much, anything over five. So I'm pretty happy where she sits right now. Um, I think that's gonna be quite good for towing 
and quite good for our lap around Australia, just having a bit more power on tap. So happy days, guys. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys.